From the very beginning, we knew that this wasn't going to be simple, but we're always finding new challenges that we can overcome as a team. We were juggling a lot at once. The creation of the Corbin Day mask, also the costumes. We were working with a casting director, and then we were doing location scouting, which came with its own slew of problems. One of the challenges for the cabin, we had to figure out how we were going to rig up everything. We saw these big beams going across the whole room. Brandon and I looked at each other right away and we're like, yeah, we're putting the 8x8 right up on top of that. We were able to get everything up into the ceiling to make sure we could execute on every single specific angle. It just allowed us the ability to be 360 degree capable. We used the Ingenue 20 to 90 millimeter T2EZ. For sound, we used the NTG3, a Deity shotgun, a Rode blimp, and the Wombat. The NTG3 was also what we used for all of our ADR and Foley work. We had worked so hard to keep this film going. COVID hit and we're not sure if we're gonna finish this film in time. For those of you who are involved in the upcoming reshoot for the forest scene, of the Corbidet production, the shoot has been delayed until further notice. Even though we couldn't meet in person, we sent out communication just to let them know that we were still working to finish this film. You have to become really comfortable figuring things out on the fly. One question that we have to answer is how do you make a film in a pandemic? We started editing the film before we were wrapped with production, pre-visualizing our VFX, color, sound design. I would be running around with Lysol and Clorox wipes, dropping hard drives to editors, VFX artists, and sound designers. We knew that when we came back to set, our two points of focus were safety and time. We had about five different lighting setups for the forest. We brought that to DJ and he said we wouldn't have enough time for that, so we had to go back to the drawing board. And since we weren't able to do that five lighting setup, I took it upon myself to say, we're shooting at night, everything kind of looks the same. We made a full line of lights pointing in one direction for one 180 shot, swivel them all the way around to get the other side. We took a ton of safety measures. We had a team of 35 that was swept down to 19. We discussed a lot of options with our colleagues. We're even given a 36-page document on regulations and guidelines to make sure that we were COVID compliant. We kept in constant communication while being as safe as possible on set. We made it work. And suddenly, we were wrapped. This is a wrap on the Corbin Day. And that wasn't the start of our good news. Road Reel is back. 25 VFX shots. It turned out so well. The original footage to now, it's night and day. Even with all of the unexpected obstacles, we made this happen. At every point, someone on this crew stepped up to make sure that this project was completed smoothly and safely. So yeah, we finished a film in a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs>